Philip had cleaned up his uh, he him and Philip were in the process of you know cleaning up our act. weeding out you know demons demons and uh, <clears throat> and me also during that period. Did you talk about it with each other the, the demons or is it just a personal stuff yeah, that you have Phil to deal? Yeah, me and Phil every day okay. on the phone after 2004. You know, all in 2005. So it was kind of a you know. It was a very rough period, but that makes for great music. Um, so anyway, um, we started writing in 2006. We came over here to, to Europe, did like 21 shows, no, no, uh, no, no press, no, no product, no anything, um, and the, the response was just a outstanding, you know, amazing. So we said, you know, well, you know, this is cool. We all got to jam together again. And exactly. That feeling was back, you know. So we started writing in August 2006, and um, or earlier. And then I would fly in, and because I lived out on out in LA at the time, so I would fly in and we'd go over these songs, and you know, and I had 12 songs, you know, before Christmas time. So. Um, as opposed to like down two, I mean, we took our time on this one, you know. Yeah. Down two. Twenty-eight was, days down yeah, two. Yeah, I mean, we were writing a song a day, you know. It was it was crazy, you know. Well, we'd finish we tracking. Had a, we had skeletons of all of them, right. but we didn't have arrangements for them, you know. So <coughs> kind of just fucking off the fucking cuff of your shoes, you know. Or we just fly out these songs and and. Uh, I mean, half the stuff I played live with Jimmy, half the record, you know, which usually I'll go back and number up everything, but it was good enough where we just kept it on there. Mm -hmm. And this little, you know, the room wasn't much bigger than this with all of us in it. So cool, anyway, it, I wouldn't want to go do that record again, you know. Um, definitely no, it did. wouldn't it was, want to do it. It was really stressful. But uh, it, it wasn't so much stressful that it was, that it, was uh, it was more... Man, we were on some, you know, <laughs> serious booze and serious drugs, and and uh, and it was fun, but I wouldn't want to do it again. Uh, I heard it was 28, 28 days drug and, and booze filled. Uh, yeah, and it, and it turned out to be killer. Yeah, you know? which but, is. But but how how was it? Uh, how was it now? Was it was it just clean everything, or was it just uh, a little bit less than the last time? We're not. Yeah. The hard drugs were gone, okay. you know, and you know. We, I mean, yeah, basically, I did my tracks. Did, did the drums in uh, February? Went out with Heaven and Hell in March. Started overdubbing. And went to Australia. Second, right? uh, in uh, yeah, I went to Australia in March. And then coming back and after seeing those shows, we were inspired to, you know, we did all the over overdubs and that took a lot longer than we ex than expected. So it literally took us five, five or six months to f complete the record in different studios in, in L.A. Um, so, you know, this record's really uh, positively focused more, you know, it was, it was intentionally made to do that, you know. Um, you know, Philip was it, everything. You, you have to take the positive sides and move on. You know, because of all the stuff that we've gone through. But was it hard to uh, to well to take a direction? Or? Yeah, oh yeah, you yeah. Have to dig deep, man. You know, and uh, it's good therapy, <clears throat> man. Absolutely. So um, we got it mastered. Like I don't know, we went went. Right out of the studio mix and straight to Australia with Heaven and Hell, and I got it mastered the day before we left. So, and then it came out the 27th. We've been touring since, you know, all over, and um, so here we are. 